All right, what is good YT? In this video, I will be teaching you how to mod GTA 5 in 2024. Basically, it's like every other year, but basically in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it in the most previous way. And sometimes some of you make mistakes, so I'll be showing you guys how to do it uh, the right way. It, it should take 10 minutes max to get a mod, install it into GTA 5, and then play it. So let's just get right into it. So here it is. Um, first step, what you're going to want to do is find your website where you want to install your mods. Personally, I use this website over here. It's probably the most famous out there for GTA mods and the most secure. So over here, it's still loading. So yeah, you get to see all of the newest mods that were created for this website. But for this video, I'll take an example on one of my personal favorite mods, which is the Chaos. Oh, I wrote it wrong. The Chaos mod. Right over here. We'll be using this as, a, as a, an example. So let's say this is your mod. What you're going to want to do is download this right over here. And boom. So now that you downloaded it, you just go in Files. Which is which is supposed to be in your toolbar over here. I hope you know what files is. So the mistake that most of you make is, for example, I want to open this. So let's say my session for WinZip has officially ran out, and I can't open this file unless I pay for like eleven dollars or something. There is a way to do this for free. You're not screwed. All you want to do is right click, and then go over here open with and then all what you're gonna want to do is go over here on Windows Explorer then open so now it's gonna open without having to pay for the WinZip um, membership so here are all the files from the mod you just installed over here it says read me most of the times you don't really need to read it because it's pretty useless Alright, so what you want to look at right now is these two over here. Basically, anything that ends with .asi and specific stuff like that, that's mostly a script that you need for the game. If you don't put this in the GTA file, it will not work. When you click the folder, you get a bunch of good stuff over here. And you can delete stuff in this file just make sure you don't delete the important stuff what you could um what you could delete is stuff like this right here where it says credits is basically the credits for the creator of the mod so you could just delete it over here boom so it's just um it just looks neater in the gta file this folder over here you don't need it at all it's just licensed to let you know um uh you see this over here it's just copyright basically both files yep so what you could do over here is just completely de delete the file and like i said it just looks neater in the gta file you don't really need to do that it, the credits and stuff it doesn't affect your game in any way I just like to just delete them because like I said like three times by now it looks cleaner in the GTA file so what you're gonna do now is um, right click again and then you're gonna click copy so now you're gonna go in the GTA file my GTA file is over here if you can't find it in this section you're gonna go to the hard drive where your GTA is installed me I have two which is my personal PC and one terabyte I have for me my GTA is installed on Steam but yours could be installed on Epic so just find the Epic file over here me I'm just gonna click the Steam file then the Steam apps file then you just click common and there it is the GTA file and now that you're in all the scripts this is basically all the scripts for the game Wow I oh my fuck what you're gonna do is uh, either do this and paste or you could just do it in a little faster way by pressing central and V. And there it is, your mod is finally in the GTA files which means 
you can now launch the game and play the mod I will launch the game to show you guys it works alright so as you see right there the text for the chaos mod did appear and it will soon be activated the bar is already activated actually we're just gonna wait for the timer to run out to, to show you that the chaos mod is really there oh random gravity alright well as you see the chaos mod works uh, the mod works everything works so this is uh, oh this is perfect